Hi, Matt McCord here, U.S. Metal TV, usmetal.com, the story of Wild Dogs Alive. And uh, we made quite a name for ourselves around uh, Portland and Seattle and Longview and Eugene and Salem. And uh, by 1983, uh, we... Uh, we we were starting to do big shows, man. We played with Dio that year, and we played with Rail. We did a lot of gigs with Rail. Rail was a band from Seattle who uh, they won the MTV Basement Tapes contest, which uh, put them on TV quite a bit. And uh, they opened for Van Halen, and the infamous Terry, the singer, had these fur boots that like David Lee Roth probably before him, and so they said you can't wear those for boots because David wears those. See, rock and roll is really worse than a bunch of a high school girls who are jealous. But uh, that's what keeps you interested, right? And uh, so we played in Eugene. I'm pretty sure this is a show. We played in Eugene with Rail because we didn't ever play any small shows. And uh, this video, I think, is prov uh, provided by Lauren Bates, and uh, it's not very good. It's uh, I don't remember where I got it. I remember I got it, but... Uh, it was already digitized, and uh, so let's take a short clip look of this, because I didn't have any video for the San Francisco show, just some pictures, and uh, this is a great show, man. Uh, there's like, you know, 5,000 people there. This rail really drew. We played at the Columbia Theater with rail with Longview, and the place was, uh, you know, like a Paramount, and it was sold out, and uh, <laughs> I remember this guy coming down, yelling at me from the balcony, and going crazy in the balcony. I said, wait a minute. Do you have something to say? And I said, come on down. <laughs> Knowing that there's no way he could make it to us because there's a, there's a huge barrier like 10 feet from the people to the stage. And uh, he finally made his way down. About the time Danny was about to have a seizure on stage, he, uh, he had this problem with uh, his, his brain thing. And uh, he would like have a seizure, like you would kind of freeze up and kind of go blank and and then have like an ep epileptic seizure and a uh, grand mall thing. Well, during the science show, which he wrote, he, uh, Angie said, Angie, my wife, was standing on the side of the stage. She ran, walked over to her and just played an Easter egg and stared at her. She said he did, she didn't know what the hell was going on. Meanwhile, this guy is making his way down to the front. So I stopped the band. I just stopped because I thought Danny was going to go into a flipper. And uh, this guy's here. And I said, what do you have to say? And he, he screams at me, you're gay. What? What? Gay. Fag. And what, me? And I'm thinking of that. I didn't say that. I said, say, what was that? Get, you're gay. And I go, ladies and gentlemen, that takes a lot of courage, especially in a town like this. This guy finally is coming out of the closet to announce his homosexuality to all of you here tonight. Let's give him a round of applause. And the place went crazy. And then he went crazy and started flipping around like a shark and, uh, or a trout on land. And <laughs> security hawked, you know, hauled him out, man. And <laughs> you know, I was pretty witty. I, I, I came from a punk rock thing where people would give you shit on stage. Well, they give you more shit looking like a punk rocker at a metal show. So I dealt with a lot of weirdos. And uh, <laughs> that was, uh, that's it. Okay. <laughs> Roll the clip. <laughs> 